When I first started creating games on Struct, I really enjoyed how simple it was to drag and drop buildings. It really makes game creation easy. But as I progressed, I felt the need for more custom built structures to fit the games that I was trying to make. So, over the time of about a year and many hours of practice, I've come up with ways to build almost anything that I can think of. From a small one room house to massive castles, we can build it. And I wanna show you how. All right, let's start with the easiest method. Simply drag and drop a building of your choice, adjust the size and placement as you see fit. Now, if you wanna add on to your house with another, you'll notice the collision physics cause it to jump up and over. It's very frustrating. To fix this, use the multi-select tool and it removes the collision physics. So now you can easily place this wherever you like. Okay, so now that you have your house placed down, let's say that you want to enter it. Unfortunately, for the vast majority of houses and buildings in Struct, you can't enter them. So we're going to use a little trick to give the illusion that we're entering these buildings. We're going to use teleporters. Now, it's important to remember that the direction you enter into the teleporter will be the same direction that you exit. So I've always used normal walls to make my inside illusion, but I want to give a special shout out to user Habian for showing me to use the same house asset to create the inside illusion instead. So let's get building. Okay, so now we're going to use the multi-select tool to move this inside portion that we just built out of the player's view to really complete that illusion. Now before we put a roof on, always, always, always complete the interior design of your building. If you put the roof on first, you'll constantly be fighting trying to see. Alright, so let's move on to creating a custom house using wall assets. You can easily snap together wall assets like this. The challenging part is the ground. So you're going to select a ground tile and I like to position it as best I can to where no pieces are sticking out. But then sometimes you'll notice there's still a section of green showing. So what I'll do is I'll create a copy and I will remove the magnet function from that copy and simply slide it up underneath or above the existing one till it fits just right. The next challenge to this type of structure is doors. 
Oh man, I really wish Struct would release an update that just made doors snap perfectly into your building. It, it, the door does not snap into anything other than, I think, the dungeon, uh, the dungeon wall asset. So, to get around this, we can do a few things. I select the arch asset, and the door will actually snap into that. So you're going to need to remove the magnet so it won't stick to the house, and then position it just up against the house, like this. Then shrink it down so it fits perfectly. All right, now check behind to make sure nothing's showing through. That looks good. So now we can put the door in this arch, and in my opinion, it just looks a lot nicer. The next challenge to building this kind of house is the ceiling and the roof. So I like to go into the geometry asset list and get this flat square. Now I carefully resize it till it perfectly fits over my walls. I don't like it to hang over. And then just like the floor asset trick, we're going to create a copy. So first let's make sure nothing's showing through or no light looks good. And now we're going to create a copy and then you need to remove the magnet function so it won't stick to anything and let's make this one white so we can see the difference so now what we're going to do is we're going to take the copy remove the magnet and then we're going to slowly slide it into place to fill the remaining gap of the ceiling now again remember to use the multi-select tool to remove the collision physics, that way it won't jump up and over. Okay, now that we have the ceiling, we're going to do the roof. Now, just like the door, the roof is really a pain. You know, it doesn't snap properly or it doesn't snap at all. And you can't just get it to fit. So you're going to have to resize it and position it to make it work. So I like to get it just right. I like to overhang a little bit for my house. And then what I'm going to do is make three copies to fill in the gaps. And remember to use the multi-select tool. That way your roof copies won't be jumping all over the place.
right, so that house is done. So this next building is a medieval tavern that I like to build. And I like to add a bit more dynamic to the outside by adding a staircase and build the building up on a higher elevation. So to do this, you need to manipulate the terrain with the terrain editor. And you just need to take your time and get the height just right. And you can do this by putting the brush settings to the lowest strength. And you're just gonna have to constantly mess with the elevations and check against the stairs. And with a little patience, you can get it. Now this is me jumping for joy because I finally got it. So for the next technique I wanna teach you is resizing the wall assets. So let's take this brick wall asset and we're gonna resize it until we get it the way we want. All right, that's the size I want. So let's position it above the stairs. Now get the piece that snaps in in the wall asset pack and we're gonna snap it in and slowly resize it till the bricks line up height wise. Now you can see it lined up perfectly. Let's do it again with the other side. We get it just right and re-snap it. So now let's take three copies of that middle wall because we're gonna use those to make windows. All right, now reattach the sides. Now we need the final full wall brick piece. We're gonna do the same thing. Snap it in, resize it. Perfect. Now we're gonna take this full wall and we're gonna snap it into the outer door walls, just like that. And now we can hit the magnet setting off and just slowly slide it down to the bricks match up and you have a window. So now make a copy of that same wall and let's do it again. Snap it in, take off the magnet setting, slowly drag it down till you get a window. And that's all the pieces we need for this build. You can simply just make copies of what you just made so everything matches up size wise. All right, let's get building.
this tavern is done. And with each new building, we're going to be adding a new technique to try. So let's take the previous house I made, the first floor, and we're going to add this sci-fi platform as is. You don't need to resize it. And we're going to use these small sections and position them like this to where they slightly overhang and then just cover the entire ceiling. That way we have options to remove one or two so we can add stairs. Okay, and just for an example in this video, we're gonna remove this section and that's where our stairs were gonna go. So now let's take our stair asset and it, it does actually snap on. So let's snap it on, resize it and make a copy and snap it on to the back and let's see if it touches the ground. See right here, it doesn't. So let's delete the bottom one and we'll make the top one slightly bigger. Now we're gonna re-snap it, make a copy, and you can do this until you get the length that you want. And see, now it's touching the ground, that looks perfect. So let's take what we've just created after testing it and we're gonna put it in the house. Once you got the stairs where you want, now you simply make copies of your walls and they will snap directly above, making the walls for the second story. Then you simply make copies of the sci-fi platform to make a roof. And remember to do your interiors first. And that's it. Easy way to make multi-leveled buildings or houses. Okay, for this next building, let's do something a little different. Let's make a sci-fi themed building. So we're gonna start with a sci-fi base, some stairs, and then we just select the sci-fi wall assets. And remember, you resize it the way you want, snap on your wall pieces, and then resize again. And once you have that, you can just start freely building by making copies.
Okay, this next building is what I call like a mage's college or mage temple. And let's create, you know, a bigger structure. And it's gonna require a technique where we flip an asset. Now this is tricky. You need to line it up just right and then flip at a 90 degree angle. Or if you wanna flip it all the way upside down, you'll have to flip it all the way upside down. But this flipping the asset can really give you a lot more options. So like this magical safe point, I flipped it 90 degrees to make it look like a magical door. Okay, once again, we're gonna flip. And remember to really line it up straight because if you try to flip without lining up straight, it's gonna be at a weird angle. So now you position these two wall pieces and you can use the multi-select tool to help with that. But once you get these, we are ready to make copies and go and it gets much faster after that. Okay, and with this square block asset, you can see I'm flipping and rotating again, just to give me some more unique options. And it just, I'm just using these as a way to frame off these torch lights.
Okay, this building is done, and now it's time to take everything we've learned from the teleport illusion to how to manipulate the floor tiles, the roofing, the ceilings, making elevation changes, resizing wall assets, stairs, and multi-levels, and flipping assets to create a massive castle. So let's get started.
Okay, with our castle finally done, let's take a tour of this small example town using all the methods that I've just taught you. And you can use these methods to create anything. This is more of like a medieval fantasy theme, but you can use this for modern, sci-fi, city, just about anything. You just gotta use the right assets, you know, have a good Im imagination and some patience and you can do it also if you've made it this far in the video i just want to say thank you for watching and as a bonus to this video if you play struct you will find a link in the description to download and play this tutorial game you can even make a copy on your struct account and really dig into how i built things and make changes and learn from it so I hope to see you in game. I appreciate it.